Welcome to Stride University. In today's video, I just want to give you a quick and brief introduction into the inventory replenishment report. Uh, this is a report that you can use to see, you know, which products uh, you should be you should be ordering based on rules or just based on some of the defaults in the system. So uh, we're going to dive in. This is going to be a short introduction, but we're just going to start by going to the inventory module here, and we're going to go to the operations and replenishment. This will pull up a quick little report and there's some different filters you can see like our trigger. Um, right now these are all just it's just showing me the manual triggers. These are uh, products that don't have a reorder rule set up and what is shown here by default is any product that has a negative forecast amount. If there's no reorder rules it'll show up as only the um, items that that haven't been that are in a negative uh, negative forecast quantity so for example I've got down here at the bottom I have the table leg and there's a negative forecast I mean we have a demand of, of four but we don't have any in in stock right now so we need to order these in order to fulfill those uh, orders from our customers so that's what this uh, report shows us from here we can do a few different things we can create new rules or we can go ahead and, and create orders if these are all uh, these are set as manual triggers so they don't have an automated order process set up so it won't automatically add them to, to a PO we have to decide if we're going to order them or not and all of this is going to be done through the product card so in my in the next in the next video on um, replenishment and reordering rules We'll go over the different settings that you're going to need to set on the product cards. I just wanted to show you, hey, this this report is here. It's going to show you by default anything that's in a negative uh, forecasted inventory. But once you go ahead and create some of your own rules, it'll show other products here uh, that need to be ordered based on those on those rules. So if you have a rule where, hey, if it goes below a level of 10 forecasted, go ahead and order uh up to 30 units it that will show up here um, if it's a manual trigger so i just wanted to show you that uh, get you familiar with this report that you what you can do to um, use it and then in subsequent videos we'll go over how to set up uh, different reordering and replenishment rules